Hey everybody, so um, I thought I would do a quick look at the um, Faraway Land Adventures in the Material Sphere. We got bad lighting in here, so we got glare, but glare is not going to matter um, for the interior. But anyway, there's the cover, um, there's the uh, spine, and then um, there's the back of the book. And just a quick comparison. Um, so this is the uh, Tome of Awesome here, and you can see that uh, Adventures in the Material Sphere is uh, significantly thicker. It's about 80 pages longer than um, Tome of Awesome. So, just a quick look inside. Uh, some splash art there, table of contents, uh, some more full page art. Um, and then we get into like basic mechanics and then um, character creation. We'll jump through here pretty quickly. Uh, I won't go into a lot of detail on all this. Let's look at uh, so the section on magic, um, spells, and all that sort of thing. Um, combat, of course. Uh, you see some of the artwork. There's a lot of artwork in the book. I think there's a lot of artwork in the book. Um, rules for crews, creating crews for your material ships. Uh, then a section, of course, on material ship combat. And um, gear and power armor, uh, power armor rules, different types of power armor, uh, vehicles. And then there's a section on um, pre-made uh, material ships. Everything from a Ataru pod ship all the way to the Edgelord Razor to the Lagrin Mothership to the uh, Miscus Star Racer. Um, risen tomb ships, um, yeah, ten times ten men devastator. Followed by a section on custom uh, building custom ships with all the rules and weapons and expansions and ship designs. Um, section on non-player characters. Like I said, I went through this really quickly. I skipped some of the major sections, but I just wanted to give an idea of uh, of what the book looks like. Um, section on mutants and then um, cybernetics and uh, zoot suits which are like cloned uh, empty cloned bodies that you can upload consciousness into then of course the whole section with the uh, creatures of uh, that are featured in this book or the entries for the uh, creatures there's a hundred I think there's a hundred and thirty entries I keep saying I think um, I need to count them for sure, but I believe there's like 130 or 128 or 132 or something like that. Um, hairball. Don't get eaten. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty significant section of the book. As you can see, we're flipping through this. All the creatures have descriptions and stat blocks and um, images with them. Uh, one thing that's a little bit different in this book than other books was that some of the creatures have their own uh, additional piece of art, like here for the Titan or the Forge Titan. Um, several of the several of the entries in this, again, Zuardrus, um, they have their own little piece of art to just uh, fill it out and, and just add to the... Uh, I guess the descriptiveness and show them in action and that sort of thing. So creature loot drops and then um, size comparisons, of course. And then a whole section here on um, the Celestial Order and sort of a bunch of lore and backstory and history of Faraway Land and the Materiosphere. Um, a section on the history of space travel it sort of explains how all that came about. And then dangers and hazards and worlds of the material sphere. I believe there's about 30 entries here for different planets and locations. Uh, a lot of these have um, illustrations to accompany them. Yeah, planet minus. So uh, I think that I hope that gives you a good idea of what the book looks like. I think it's a pretty book. I'm I'm pretty happy with it and. Um, I like how it came out. I think it has a lot of artwork. I think it has a lot of story in it. And I think that if you're already familiar with the Faraway, Ran Faraway Land rule set, then you're, um, you, sh you should be familiar with this. Because like I said, Adventures in the Material Sphere is fully compatible with all the other original uh, Faraway Land books, including uh, The Tome of Awesome and Creatures Volumes 2 and 3, Seas of Faraway Land and all of that. So... 
Um, anyway, thanks for taking the time. If you made it this far into the video, uh, I hope you um, find it in you to, if you're interested, back the Kickstarter, what we run in um, mid-September. And um, thanks for watching and see you later.